The Indian Air Force has cut down the projected requirement of medium weight fighters from 210 units to 170 units, considering the parallel development and procurement of 126 units of 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jets. The metal cutting for the medium weight fighter has started and it is all set to conduct its first flight in August 2022. The medium-weight fighter will carry eight air-to-air -air missiles with three drop tanks in air superiority configuration, and a very impressive indigenous foreign mix of weapons package in strike configuration, comprising of next-generation Brahmos system scalp cruise system and Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile. The Aeronautical Development Agency and other stakeholders in the Navy's twin-engine deck-based fighter program are pushing the Orca fighter jet to the Air Force. But the Air Force chief has made it clear that the AMCA and medium weight fighter are the main priorities, and there is no incline towards the Orca program, as it will require reinvestment in logistics and infrastructure to maintain a new type of fighter jet. The Indian Air Force would instead prefer a Block II variant of the medium weight fighter that will come with advanced avionics and 5.5 generation technologies, which will also keep the cost of modernization much cheaper. After evaluating the performance of the two least Sea Guardian drones from the US, the three armed services are now proceeding to procure 30 units of MQ-9B armed drones and other related equipment from the US, and officials have said that the $3 billion procurement is all set to be cleared by the Defense Acquisition Council, which is comparatively much cheaper than the recent purchase of 18 MQ-9B drones for $2.97 billion by United Arab Emirates. The MQ-9B has an endurance of 48 hours and a range of more than 11,000 kilometers, and will come with nine hardpoints, that will carry sensors laser-guided munitions and dare-to-ground missiles. This decision comes just before the visit of U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin later this month. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has said, the Mach 8 capable Brahmos 2 hypersonic missile powered by indigenous scramjet engine is currently under development, and it will be ready for testing in 2024. He also said, that the company is ready to meet every export requirements, and the export variant will not be inferior or superior, as every nation has its own defense strategy, and the requirements completely depends on the customer. He also added, that the company had developed a new version of Brahmo's system for coastal security, and the Indian Navy has taken approval from the Defense Acquisition Council to deploy this system. The test of the 800 km range Brahmo's variant will be conducted by the end of 2021, while the Brahmo's is also being re-engineered with reduced dimensions to create the Brahmo's next generation variant, that will be integrated on the Su-30 MiG-29 Tejas light combat aircraft medium weight fighter and AMCA fighter jet. The recent visit of Indian Foreign Secretary to Russia was an important indication that bilateral mechanisms have been set in motion ahead of the India-Russia Annual Summit 2021, as the Russian Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister are all set to arrive in New Delhi, which will be followed by the visit of the Russian President to India, during which the deal for license production of 7.5 lakh AK-203 rifles and reciprocal logistics support agreement is scheduled to be signed. The ISRO will launch the GSAT-1 Earth Observation Satellite on 28 March by its GSLV F-10 launch vehicle. The 2,268 kg GSAT-1 satellite is equipped with onboard high-resolution cameras, and will provide real-time images of border regions and oceans for continuous monitoring, 